It's always frustrating when you install a new version of Premiere Pro and then you find out that all of your settings like workspace layouts, keyboard shortcuts, sequence settings, export presets, color labels, effects presets, and of course your general Premiere Pro preferences were not all brought into the new version. It takes so long to set up all of these things. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to manually fix that problem with sync settings inside Premiere Pro. So let's dive in. So at some point Premiere implemented the sync settings, which is this little button down here. But I've found for the last several versions of Premiere Pro, I have yet to have it carry over my old settings into a new version. So I've always had to figure out a way to do it manually. And luckily I did find out a way to do it in just a few minutes. So open up a folder on your computer and whether you're on Mac or PC, Go to the user area for your profile on the computer. In this case, it's in my local C drive, users will. And then go to documents, Adobe, Premiere Pro, and then you might see a whole bunch of different versions. So let's say you've been working in 14, you just installed version 15, and you wanna copy all of your custom settings from 14 into 15. To do that manually without relying on the sync settings from Adobe, you can go into the version that you have all the settings in, and then you'll see an area called profile will. Now, if you have managed to get the settings to upload to the cloud using sync settings, it'll be stored in here. So you could copy that over, but in this case, we're gonna be using the non-creative cloud version. So if we go inside here, you'll see that it has layouts. These are your workspaces. We have settings, which include transcode presets, we have custom resolution presets and a whole bunch of other uh, settings or presets that you might save when working in Premiere Pro. And then there's a few other files that it needs in order to maintain the settings on your local computer. So let's go back to the version that you're gonna be copying from. We're gonna copy and then we'll go back to where all the versions are. And in the new version, you may already have a new folder. So this is the folder that we're gonna completely overwrite. So you simply just paste it and then overwrite your existing one, or you could delete it and then paste it. Now, if that does not work for you, then I would suggest going back to the versions and then copying over the Creative Cloud into the new version and overwriting the Creative Cloud one as well. So for me, that wasn't necessary. It did work just by using the original profile one, the locally stored one. And then fortunately, when I opened up Premiere 15, all of my presets were there, all of my keyboard shortcuts, all of my color labels, my general preferences, my custom sequence presets, my exporting presets, and my workspace layout. I did contact Adobe and let them know that this was an issue and has been going on for a few versions. They did reply and say they are working on a fix, so hopefully this isn't necessary to do in future releases, but it's good to know that you do have an option to do it manually if you run into any issues. I hope you found that helpful and I hope it did save you some time. Give it a thumbs up as it does make a difference and leave a comment down below to let us know if it did help you. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to be notified when we release new videos. We have over a hundred other filmmaking tutorials on the channel that you can learn from, so check those out if you're interested. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.